There's few things more sacred than a fishing tournament. Just some good old-fashioned elbow grease, a fishing rod, some bait, and grabbing Mother Nature by the balls and saying, We evolved past the need to be aquatic creatures. Now we live on the land, but we're coming back out to the sea just to prove who the boss is, who's the top of the food chain. The point I'm making is fishing tournaments. They've been around for a long time, and... There hasn't really been any major scandals, at least none that have hit the mainstream that I'm aware of, until today. Right now, there is a massive cheating scandal going on in the professional fishing scene that is shocking. This is a doozy. We got some bass master foolery going on around here. Kind of. Yeah, the, the sanctity of fishing has been disrespected. Unfortunately, there has been another cheating scandal... This time in professional fishing. Every sport ever right now is having cheating scandals. It's crazy. I don't know what's going on. Pandora's box has been open. And this one, it's quite crafty. I, I've seen the video beforehand, but I'll of course play it again to catch everyone up to speed. It's a pretty smart idea. I'm surprised that this isn't more common. Things are you said. Lancer, Baggy, the Prime, Kintarit, and the Tin Gifts of Ace. Thank you, Ace. Here's some Gavin, Delicious, Oni, and the Bits Mushroom. I'm give some father. Here we go! Oh, hell, oh, hell, oh, hell, oh, oh, it's like a NASCAR rally. Show me your butthole. Now, I, I'm going to be on the side of the fishermen here. This is legitimately a problem because by cheating in these tournaments, they won a lot of money robbing people of that prize. So it wouldn't be silly to get authorities involved because fishing tournaments, they actually do have decent prize pools. It's more than you'd expect. You know, like you're not going to be like a multi-billionaire off fishing tournaments or anything, but it's a good chunk of change, especially for just like hobby fishermen or even semi-professional or professional fishermen, it's it's a good it's a good chunk. Like sometimes it'll get up to 10, 20, 30 grand from the ones I've seen. This one was 300k. 300k? Holy fuck. Oh, 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 oh. That's what this guy made in total from his winnings. Oh, 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 oh. From cheating. Okay, gotcha. Jesus. I don't want anybody to touch these guys. I want to go to jail. Mm -hmm. it's it's tough. Tough. That's a lot of Wrangler jeans. So here's the method they used to cheat. Actually very smart, not gonna lie. Yep. Lead anal beads. They thought of everything. They put little weights in the fish they caught so that way they were heavier. Because when it comes to professional fishing, it's all about the weight of the fish you catch. That's how you're scored, right? You catch a big, heavy, girthy fish, you get, you know, more points for it. So this guy was stuffing weights down their throat to make them heavier. Actually ingenious, by the way. Like, that's pretty fucking smart. Hey. One guy's just so disappointed. Hey, man, what the fuck? A filleted fish. Look at this. Is a filleted, yeah. A fish. a walleye filleted. Yep. He needs to go to jail. He needs to say jail. Now, one thing I had a question on, because I, I haven't finished the video, I wanted to save the ending for a stream, so that way we're all learning together. Is this the cheater right here? Because he looks very defeated. I'm assuming this is him. Yeah, it is. Mm. Jake, as the good book said, you can't cheat in fishing. One of the Ten Commandments. And he's got sponsors, too. At least judging by his his jacket here. That's rough. You got anything to say? Hey, 
Oh man. I'm surprised it didn't get more aggressive. What did Steve do? Yeah. I videoed it right off the rail. Was Steve the one that caught him? Let me take pictures. You fucked over a lot of people, man. They've been doing this shit for years. Cheating motherfucker, man. He's the fucking shit. You got a fucking boat, you got thousands of fucking dollars. You stole from That he mean he's absolutely right. He did steal all that from the people that competed legitimately. So how was he caught? I didn't want to look too deep into this because I thought it'd be more fun to uncover the truth together. Where can I read about, like, the method he was, uh, the method they used to catch him? Because now at this point, I, I'm expecting a lot. I'm, I'm expecting they use, like, infrared scanners or something. They, they brought in a fish whisperer to ask the fish how much it weighed. And then when it turns out the fish was lighter than uh, the scale said, they got suspicious. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I don't, this is more than just an accusation. This is, like, as definitive proof as you can find of cheating. Fish aren't just swallowing these lead weights. <laughs> like, that's just not happening. Uh, this this guy's a 100% cheater. It wasn't an accident. Okay, so they, they came out with a, a firm statement. Disgusted guys and gals, I'm sorry for letting you down for so long. I'm glad I caught cheating taking place in your loot at the same time. What in tarnation? What is that? I'm glad I caught... Cheating taking place in your loot. What does that mean? It's an acronym for the tourney. Oh, the Lake Erie Walleye Trail. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, thanks. Nice. Good work, loot. How did they catch him, though? Uh, clearly got away with this for a long time. How were they finally busted? Why weren't they bleeding? Well, if you read this paragraph, or this sentence right here, it explains... Two anglers were caught in cheating in a Cleveland fishing tournament by adding lead weights in fish fillets that appeared to be previously prepared to increase the weight of the fish. So it wasn't just the weights. That's why I kept pulling out the, look at this fillet! Fisher, the tournament's organizer, told 19 News the fish looked smaller than they weighed. This prompted the fish to be checked for any signs of cheating. <laughs> Wait. They eyeballed it? How... How did they get away with it for so long, then? I assume the weight was just, like, marginally bigger than the fish, so that way it wasn't too suspicious. But if they were able to eyeball, like, wow, this is outrageous compared to the size, how could they have possibly got away with it for a long time? Or maybe Fisher's just got a really strong eye. Yeah, no, this guy's got a great name to be a fishing tournament organizer. His name's just straight up Fisher, so that's cute. I run a fishing tournament in Louisiana, and we have busted someone for this exact same thing. When we went to put the fish on the scale, the weights fell out of its mouth. <laughs> oh, I get fucked. Unlucky. He's got to work on stuffing that turkey. Amateur. He made 300k in just one year. He's made 3 million total from cheating. Oh, god damn. 3 million clams? Yeah, has he made a statement yet? What's his name? Jake? They just kept saying Jake. Jake Runyon and Chase Kaminsky. It was 10 pounds over the previous record, but the fish didn't look record size. Oh, so they really just flew too close to the sun. They went they went wumbo on it for no reason. I mean, legitimately, there should be like legal action that comes from this. If he's cheated $3 million out of these tournaments... That should be a lawsuit. And and the, sh the shamelessness to do it in fishing, of all things. 